All right, in this video, I want to talk about a problem that my tank has just recently faced. And it's a problem that I did not know what was going on. I first noticed it after I added my new lights that I showed in my other video before this. And my leaves and all my hydrofolia started to die. They started to get these little pinholes in there and start turning yellow around them and all the leaves fell off. And as you can see, it's not as full as it used to be in the other videos where it's, it was just lush and touching the top of the water. And this is not only the hygrofolia, but also the java fern. There's also these pinhole lead, pinholes in the leaves. And it's everywhere. The leaves are dying on all the plants. And I thought that it was due to the new lights. I thought the lights were too strong. I thought it was killing them off and it took a while of research and asking questions on what was going on to realize that my tank had no potassium it was a potassium deficiency which caused these holes right here and even in the anabis you can see it these pin holes and the holes will keep getting bigger until the leaf die the potassium deficiency goes from the oldest leaves to the youngest and it happens because the plants take the potassium from the old leaves and give them to the young leaves that have to survive. And that is what I'm seeing. All these pinholes in the leaves. And the hygrofolia is not surviving this right now. So now that I know that it's potassium, all I have to do is add the potassium and hopefully the plants rebound. I'm pretty sure they will. And I think this happened right after I added the lights because the higher the lights, cause the plants to use more nutrients and because I have these hydrofolias in here which are potassium hogs they ate the potassium out of the water within a couple days they just robbed the water of all the potassium and this is what happened so I gotta learn my lesson now that higher light requires more CO2 and more nutrients to uh, balance out because without it I just have an extreme die off and this, this is what happened. I n know that the leaves aren't going to repair themselves. And hopefully where I cut off right there, that the little leaves around it grow bushy again. For that, I wanted to get the, I ordered some potassium from Sea Kim, but it hasn't got here yet. So instead of waiting days to be shipped over here to Japan, I went out and got this bright green brightly step three i was looking for the brightly k but the store didn't have it which was just potassium but this right here says that it has potassium and iron so i put more than a dose is recommended for this probably about six eight squirts probably a little more i'll probably add some more to it to help these plants rebound uh, i'm pretty sure it's also low on iron i don't know how but because the Jungle Val isn't as bright green anymore. It's kind of this yellow color, which I looked up, which was a sign of iron deficiency. It shouldn't be because I have this iron root taps in there. A lot of those in there. In there. So maybe if I squirt some in the water, it can absorb to the leaves. Speaking of which, plants absorb four times as much potassium through the leaves than through the roots. And I learned this after reading The Ecology of a Planet Aquarium by D. Walstad. And her book is pretty good. I've been reading it and learned a lot. And according to the book, plants will actually put potassium into the soil that they take out of the water. So if that is true, I will start adding more potassium to the water. Root tab potassium would not work as efficient the plant, especially now with our pygrophilia. And since this is my favorite plant, I went out and bought some more. I could not resist and I bought some more. I want to fill it up in the back, back here where it's barren. But if I do, when I do add more hygrofolia to it, which is right here. Uh, three of these for seven bucks 
or 680 yen, which is about seven bucks. So when I add those, I'm for sure gonna add more potassium. And when I flourish potassium get here from sea kale, I will add more of that. And that's not the only place I started to see potassium deficiency. I also see it here in my hydrofolia tank, which was the anabis tank. But it wasn't working out, so I converted it to this. And you can see the pinholes started to form. So that actually pointed me to the suspicion of potassium deficiency. But the tank is so small, there was no way that it could be running out so fast. So. If I figured it out, and it's potassium. So I added potassium here. And I want to see how fast they grow back. And that's just it. So remember, the more light you have, the more CO2 and nutrients you need to counterbalance. Because if you have more light, it's going to force the plants to eat more. Which will rob your water of all the nutrients that it have in there at that time so that's it for my video lesson learned i hope some of you learned something from this please rate and subscribe thank you